This is simply about remembering to do good deeds in your own immediate family or circle of friends or in your own community. This weekend marks the 20th anniversary of the darkest chapter in recent American history, the September 11th attacks. Well, many of us take time that day to remember those we lost and how it changed all of our lives. Some of us stop and do something else. Terrence Lee tells us what that is in tonight's special report. We had a great crew that day. It was a beautiful day. In September 2019, Michael Grill spent the day helping in Inglewood, helping the community group, growing home, get ready to plant its next crop of food. The organization provides residents with access to healthy food and jobs. Everybody left just, just feeling good about being able to help out a little bit. He and a few of his co-workers from the Chicago law firm Holland and Knight volunteer their time as part of 9-11 Day. It's a national day of service to remember those affected by the September 11th attacks by giving back to your community. They lost a colleague from their New York office in the terror attacks. We still were recognizing the fact that people were really going out of their way to chip in, to do good deeds, not only for our family, but for everybody in New York and around the country. Jay Winnick is one of the co-founders of the nonprofit 9-11 Day. He lost his brother, Glenn, who was an attorney and volunteer firefighter in that attack. He helped evacuate his law offices, which were located just a few blocks from the World Trade Center and raced into the South Tower to save lives, and he lost his life. Jay's family waited for months until his brother's remains were found. In that time, he and a friend got the idea to start a ritual where people would do good deeds every year on the anniversary of 9-11. We felt if it was just left to the history books to teach about the attacks, but not about how good people of the nation and the world came together, then we have lost an opportunity. Two decades after first launching the program, Jay says participation from the public continues to grow, especially from those who were just babies in 2001 or were not even born yet. We're talking about you know, kids who are in elementary school all the way through young adults in college. They're cleaning up parks and beaches and um, pitching in at fire stations and doing things in support of first responders. It's, it's truly wonderful. I've certainly had my family come to uh, events, you know, cleaning up outside of uh, firehouses or, or in the neighborhood. Michael Grill and his coworkers are no exception. They and their families have helped out at various volunteer events for 9-11 Day over the years, including a meal pack event at Navy Pier. It benefits the Greater Chicago Food Depository. They plan to be there again this year too. Even though the 9-11 Day organization has been encouraging good deeds for the last 20 years, their work is far from over. Particularly now coming out of the pandemic, as we all hope we will be in the coming months, there's no shortage of people in need. The Mill Pack event, 9-11 Day, has planned for this coming Saturday as part of a nationwide event with similar events taking place in several other cities across the U.S. To find out how to volunteer, go to 911 dayorg Terrence Lee, Fox 32 Chicago.